Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be testing the Wet n Wild Scooby Collection. I'm so excited, so let's get started. Recently I was in Super Jug and I saw something that I'd never seen before. I don't know when this collection was released, but I saw it and I had to get my hands in it. So I've seen a Wet n Wild X Scooby Doo collection and it was so cool. So I had quite a few different bits to this collection. They had an eyeshadow palette, they had blush, they had a massive glow in the dark beauty blender which I was so, so tempted to buy. But it was £9, well £8.49. So I decided not to do it. They also had some eye creams, so they had all sorts of different things. So I picked up two bits and I thought we could try them out together today. So from the collection I picked up the eyeshadow palette which is so cool and I also picked up the blush I'll admit I do have a bit of blush on already today but it's a completely different one so I still want to try it out so I'm going to start off with the blush this is the Scooby Doo Puppy Power Blush it says it's a cream blush and I'm really excited to see what it's all about so let's open this up okay this is what the product looks like I think you're supposed to peel this off. Yeah, you're supposed to peel that off to expose a mirror. But I like it since it's got Scooby on, so I'm actually going to leave that on. And this is the product. So let's open it up. So it, sque yeah. so it screws off there. This is the product. By the looks of it, yeah, it looks like you're supposed to like stamp this. It's a little paw print. Will it focus? I don't think you can see because it's so overexposed, but there's a little paw print on there. Let's put it back in properly and see if it works. It's called Talk to the Paw is the shit, so it's like a purple. Oh my god, that's so cute! Okay. Okay, you can kind of see that, but it's nothing too intense, which is kind of good. I just put some into my hand and it is a really nice light lilac. So it's nothing too intense. I think I'm going to dip back in to do the other side. But that's actually really pretty. It's got a really pretty like lilac touch to it. But I said it's not too intense, which I'm really happy about because I was kind of nervous. Let's put some on this side, okay. That is really pretty. And that's actually so easy to apply as well. Like, I don't really feel like we need to blend that out much. Like, maybe a bit on my fingers. That's really nice. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by that. That's so cool. I'm going to put that protective cap back on. Just so it doesn't get, like, really exposed with that product. But it's really nice. That's like, such a pretty, like, novelty product. That's so fun. I love that. Okay, let's look at the eyeshadow palette now. So this is a limited edition eyeshadow palette. So it's a 16 pan palette. It's for eye and face and you can see all the characters on the front. Let's just try to get into this. Okay, there we go. I'm actually really excited to dip into this and see what it's all about. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like inside. I'm really leaning towards like these warm tones here and playing with those because they look so pretty. Let's have a little swatch of a few of the shimmers. Okay, that one there was so creamy. They're both so pretty though. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the warm tones. I think that's what we're going to play with today. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more for this. You can see that purple blush even better there. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm just going to put a bit of my Be Perfect concealer on my lids as eyeshadow primer. This is actually a really good eyeshadow primer, even though it's concealer. Tried it recently and I just love the product so much. Now I'm just going to blend this out. We've got a nice even eye base to start with. And the same thing on this side. Eyeshadow primer is so important. I say primer, I'm using concealer, but just priming your eyes in general is so important and it works so well. Really does give you like, the full potential of the eyeshadow you're going to use and really make that pigment pop. So this is how it's looking. Now I'm going to pick some brushes. This is the Morphe 9R37 I believe. 39. And we've also got the P. Louise 235. This could have been quite precise since it's a great fluffy brush. So firstly I think I'm going to go with the orange shade which has got a little paw print on which is so cute this one here. I'm going to tap into that. I don't know how pigmented it's going to be, so we're going to find out. Let's just run this through like the centre of my crease. Okay, that's quite nice. It's a really nice shade. I'd say it's more buildable than like an extremely pigmented one, but it's still quite pigmented. I didn't tap into it too hard because I wasn't sure how pigmented it would be. And we could do something on this side. 
Like, it is really pigmented. I'm not saying it's not because it is really pigmented. Okay, I take it back. It's actually quite pigmented. <laughs> I feel like I just didn't pop into it too, too much. I'm going to go with the bat shade, which is like a really light nude. I'm just going to blend it out with that. I really apologise if you can hear that. My neighbour, I think they're mowing the lawn. I can just hear this noise. That's actually blending out quite well. I like that. It's a really nice shade as well. It's giving very autumnal vibes right now, but blending out really, really nicely. Don't think I've ever tried a wet and wild eyeshadow before, so I'm quite excited for this. Now, do we go more nude or do we go more red? Mm, I think I'm going to go with the red, you know. There's this really pretty, like, burgundy style red here, and I really want to just try that because it looks so good. Get in with that fluffy brush to apply this one. And we're just going to focus on the outer corner. Oh, that is very pigmented. I'm just going to turn the brush over to blend it. It's definitely got that touch of burgundy in there, but that is so nice. Again, this shade is blending out really, really well. I don't know what they're putting in these eyeshadows, but they are blending out beautifully. Let's do the other eye. You don't need loads and loads of product. So pretty, what? That's such a pretty shade. I'd say the only thing so far about them is they're not as true to pan. Like it looks quite red. It does have a touch of burgundy in there, but it looks quite red. And on the eye it looks a lot more pink, but I don't care at all because it looks so nice. I love this. This is so pretty. So just building up that color there. So I'm gonna go in with this yellowy shade here. It's got like an imprint of a ghost. All the matte shades have got different imprints and I'm so here for it. This is the bone, you've got the pot, you've got a little ghost there, we've got the Scooby logo there, a different bone here. Oh, that one was a bat, sorry. A bone here and then we've got some eyes there. So I love that, so creative. So I'm going in with that yellow shade. I'm going to focus this towards the inner corner of my lid. Ooh, that's really, that is really pretty. I'm actually obsessed with how easy these are blending together. These are so easy to work with. I don't know what they're putting in these eyeshadows, but I, I need to know the secret because wow. That looks amazing. That is so pretty. I'm obsessed with these shadows. How have I been sleeping on Wet and Wild? Like, this is so good. I'm gonna go back in with the orange just over the center there to make the orange really pop. Cause I feel like we've kind of got rid of some of that with blending the red and the yellow in. There we go. It's so pretty, I love it. So for shimmers, I do think this one here is like really calling my name. So what other shimmers have we got? We've got this blue one, which is really pretty, but I don't feel like it's gonna go with the look. We've got this one here, which is like a gray version of the one in the corner. We've got this purpley one. And we've also got this orange one, which is really nice. I might use some of the purple towards the outer corner and then blend it in with that one up there because that is so pretty. And it's just might as well swatch them other on my fingers. They're really pretty. Yeah, I'm going to use some of that purple. I may even use a little bit of blue, but we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to start off with the purple one first. I'm going to bring you in a little bit, oh, not further away, a little bit closer for this. So purple, I'm just tapping that right on the outer corner there. I don't want it to be too intense, I just want like a nice touch of purple in there. But it is quite a dark shimmer. Something there. Do you know what? Let's just use a bit of the blue because the blue really blew me away when I saw it. It was really pretty. Something I wouldn't normally go for is a dark blue shimmer with a look like this, but let's just be creative and try it. It's quite pretty. I think if it was a lighter blue it would be a lot better, but it is so pretty. I'm just going to tap it over a bit more to get more of that blue colour payoff. Oh wow. Okay, so I feel like tapping is definitely the way to go with these shimmers. That's so pretty. Do something on this side. Just tap that in. This is how we are looking. So pretty. I'm just going to blend a bit of that blush there that I've just seen. That is really nice. Okay, we're gonna go in with a white shimmer now because that's one that I've been so excited to play with. The formula of this one, it feels so different to the formula of the others. It's so creamy and so thick compared. Oh, wow. Oh my days, that is crazy. 
Okay, I'm blending that into the blue there. What? That is insane. I'm actually addicted to that. That's so pretty. That must be one of my favourite shimmers I've tried in a long time. It's so creamy to form me. It's like a gel eyeshadow. Oh wow. And it's so pretty. Oh my god, I love that so much. It's so pretty. Let's just try to blend this a little bit better into the blue. That's another side. So this is now how it's looking. And this is the final look. I felt this was a shorter video. But I actually worked so well with those products. I don't feel like we need to keep going over and blending and adding more because they were just so pretty. Colour payoff was amazing. Blendability. Is that a word? Well, it is now. How blendable it was. Absolutely incredible. I worked so well with these products. Shimmers are gorgeous. And then when I saw that other one, oh, wow. Beautiful. I'm really, really impressed. I love trying new collections like this. I feel like I find so many good pieces. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like me to try, what other products you want to see from me, any other looks, things like that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't because it means so, so much to me. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye.